Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of Sip and Learn. So as promised in my last episode, I'm back with another technical sip which is on Microsoft Graph API. So in next few minutes we will uh, be learning on how we can do app registration in order to make a call to Microsoft Graph API. So in order to do that, let's go ahead with the Azure portal. So we will navigate to the Azure portal and we'll click on the app registrations. Click on the new registration so we can register a new application. So here we can uh, give a name of our application. So I will give, let's say, demo graph API. And next is the selection of the account type. So single tenant, it means uh, it will allow only those users which are part of this uh, Active Directory. So if those are the users which is going to utilize this application, then we can select this one. And another one is, another option we have is the multi-tenancy. So it means it will allow all the users uh, which are having the work or the school account created by the Microsoft, then they can utilize this particular option. And the third option is multi-tenancy as well as personal accounts. So it contains Xbox login and the Skype. And the last one is the purely the personal logins, which belongs to services like Xbox and Skype. So I will go ahead and select this one. And here you can provide the redirect URI. So as of now, it is optional. We can provide it later also. But let's go ahead and provide localhost. Click on the register. So now, once our application is created successfully, we need to go to certificates and the secret. So here we need one. We will be using app ID and secret path because it would be an application authentication. So we need a secret and we will create one secret over here. So make sure to copy this particular value because it is required later on. Once this is done, we need to grant the permissions to our API. So what all APIs we are going to use, we need to grant our consent. So for that, Let's navigate to Graph API documentation. So this is the first URL which we can see. And here you can see 1.0 reference. So these are all the APIs which are available and we can pick any of these. So let's go and choose this one, people list person <laughs> click on the respective apis you will see that it talks about the permissions so for this particular account you need these many permissions for personal accounts you need this permission and when you are doing application authentication you need the people.read.all so what we will do is we will go here and we will search for the same permission Microsoft Graph and we need application level so just type here people and it should show up here so this is the one which we need to select once it is selected click on add permissions and you can see that it got added over here now as I have logged in with the non-admin account I'm not able to grant access but if you are the admin, then you would get this particular grayed out grant admin consent to for users. So it will be enabled and you would be able to provide the consent. So once con consent is provided, we are good to go and generate a Graph API client and make a call to that API. Now the final part is let's go to the overview. So these are the client ID, tenant and the app IDs which we will be using. And here comes the endpoint. So all these endpoints tells you which all protocol it supports for authentication and the authorization. So using this, we can go ahead and generate our graph client, which will in turn make a call to our graph APIs. And uh, yeah, 
this is a small tip I'm having for today. Now how to utilize this and how to generate the graph client. For that you can watch my previous episode. So there I have mentioned how we can come up with that. So with that, hope you enjoyed this small tip. And I will be back with something cool next time. So till then, keep sipping. Thank you.